Aaron, lack of offense yet again, an issue for you guys tonight. Just one hit through eight innings. Just how do you wrap your head around what's been going on with this offense this series? Yeah, um, you know, obviously frustrating, frustrating day. Felt like we had some pitches within there um, with Javier to do some things with and, and just fouled some pitches off. I thought there were some good bat at bat sprinkled in there, you know, um, but obviously just just not able to mount enough. The error wound up being costly there in that second inning. What exactly happened between Judge and, and Bader? Yeah, I, th I think Aaron called it pretty early, uh, having a beat on it, and then Harrison came in late and, and was calling it also loud. So I think by the time he gave way, he was kind of in front of him, might have shielded his vision a little bit. And, uh, you know, sometimes when it's loud like that, um, I, I think he probably got shielded out a little bit. Other questions for Aaron? Uh, Dan in the second row. We all know what, what you guys have to do to, to win here. How do you turn this around, uh, you know, starting tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, we have to. Um, we got to just, I mean, it starts with simple as winning pitches. Um, you know, we got to. And then stack, start stacking together quality at bats to put ourselves in a good situation. And and you know whether it's a big key hit, you know some slug, whatever. We we just need to we need to we need to get a little bit of a spark and something to to bounce our way and and try and try and grab a lead and play with a little bit. And you used Trevino there. Uh, was there any thoughts on uh, Luizaga or someone like that? Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, it, I was hoping to get Garrett through there. Felt like he threw the ball incredibly well. Um, you know, was, I got Trevino up just in case he needed some help there with the bottom bottom righties that we liked him against. But, um, you know, obviously it turned out didn't work for us. Uh, Brian, to your left, Aaron. Aaron, it, it seemed like there was some hesitation maybe in taking Cole out there and that you maybe checked on him. Was there something? Yeah, was there I, was just, I was just holding up. I wanted to make sure. Trevino had full time and I wanted to just, you know, I sent Trevi out just to make sure I had some time and I wanted to, you know, have some eye contact there is all. Uh, Dave in the third row on your right, then Joel. Aaron, the, the Astros are undefeated in the postseason. Are, are they that good? I mean, they're really good, you know, and, and obviously, you know, I think it starts with their pitching. Um, you know, the starters they're able to run out there you know, coupled with a, a lot of really good arms out of the bullpen. But, you know, we got to find a way and, and starts by, you know, trying to grab one tomorrow. Uh, Joel, standing on your right. Uh, Aaron, for so much of this season, your offense went as Judge went. Uh, do you think that's happening again? And can you win unless Aaron Judge gets real good real quick? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, obviously he's, you know, he's the biggest force and key in our lineup so you know you know you know we need to get something from him but that said you know to win these games you, you need a little something from everyone and sometimes that can be something small sometimes it can be something big sometimes it can be some something unexpected but we have people uh you know going out there that are certainly capable of you know a handful of are struggling a little bit right now but we got to find a way against a very good pitching staff Jeff, a little bit further back on your right than Ron. Aaron, I know it's difficult to exactly quantify this, but how much of your offensive struggles do you think are on your hitters, and how much is because Houston's pitching has been so good? I, I mean, I don't know. There, I mean, it's a really good pitching staff, but you know, there's, you, you know, we got to find a way right now. So we we know what we're up against. You know, we know what they're capable of. Um, so whether it's taking advantage of, of, of those times you do get a mistake or, or at certain times going and hunting down, you know, and trying to take a strength away of theirs in a certain situation and really, you know, uh, look for and, and attack a, a certain pitch in a situation, we got to find a way. So, you know, however you want to analyze it, them pitching, I mean, we got to find a way right now. Uh, up front on your left, Ron, the microphone's right there. When Aaron is booed after the strikeouts, you got a few boos during the introductions. Is that bothersome, or is that just understanding, knowing the expectations? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're trying to win a game, so we're in the American League Championship Series. We're, you know, you can't get caught up in that. I'm going to Lindsay. 
Aaron, what was it that you were seeing from Garrett in that bases loaded situation that made you feel that Trevino was the better option there? Yeah, I, I was just, you know, with us struggling to obviously put some points on the board and, and down a couple already, um, you know, I felt like Mancini had some good at bats against him already, you know. <clears throat> three consecutive guys getting on there uh, you know I, I and I just felt like you know maybe we could get some soft contact or put them on the ground um you know but you know part of my hesitation was maybe we get strikeout ball here too and then we can go to them and try and put the ball on the ground um in that situation where we're really up against it but um I, I you know and, and part of the deliberation was because I thought Garrett just threw the ball so well today um but ultimately, I, I I decided I wanted to go to Trivi there and just again where we're down a couple and can't really let any more. Just hoping for some weak contact or a ball on the ground. Do three last ones, uh, Andy up front. There's no way to know this, but do you wonder at least if that home run chase tired Judge out on any level? It's a, bit, a challenge for him right now. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think you know everyone's <clears throat> that time of year. You know, especially when you've played a full season, everyone's played, you know, everyone's a little tired, but, you know, you're playing for everything right now, and that kind of helps make the tired go away a little bit. Uh, Brandon, in the second row on your left. Aaron, you, you specifically mentioned you wanted to make eye contact with Cole before taking him out. Why in particular? I, I, I just wanted Trevi to go out there and get with him, and I wanted to pause, and it, more I was just buying, making sure I was buying time for Lou. Chris in the right center aisle. Uh, with as good as how the offense was in the regular season. Has it been at all surprising to you with how little production you've gotten through these three games? Um, yeah, I mean, we need to do more if we're going to win, obviously. Um, you know, in baseball and, and small snippets, especially when you're up against really, you know, really good pitching, you know, if you're not really on top of it or really – executing at a high level these things can happen when you're up against a great pitching staff so uh you know that's that's the nature of the postseason but you know we can't you know i keep saying we got to find a way we do i mean we it's no time to sit here but it's that's a it's a small snippet right now and we gotta we gotta find a way whether again that's taking advantage of mistakes um swing decisions and then and then picking our spots where we you know try and go and take away one of their strengths. One last one for Aaron. All right, Aaron, thanks so much. Appreciate it.